everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we are heading to Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, to a place called Lovebird, to do a fried chicken sandwich challenge. So this place is known for not only having um, gluten-free fried chicken, but offering really nice sandwiches that hold cool different flavors. There's a few locations around the area. Um, but yeah, so I know we're gonna have six sandwiches um, in the challenge. I know it's a, I think I actually get to pick the flavors, but they have a diverse amount of flavors. There was a rotating one. I'm gonna get the exact details here just momentarily. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I know we're in the quest for a free meal. Um, if not, I believe the meal is about $60 or so. Uh, but like I said, I'll get you those exact details. So let's go have some fun, eat some food, and uh, fried chicken, guys, fried chicken sandwiches. Let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here I am with the giant and delicious looking chicken sandwiches. Um, so I have the Lovebird, which is kind of their traditional chicken sandwich. Um, it has their Lovebird sauce, the coleslaw, pickles, lettuce, etc. I have an LBLT, which has like avocado, bacon, tomato, all the stuff. Then I have the Baja Bird, uh, which has like pico on it. Um, it has some cilantro, queso fresco. We got some chipotle mayo, so we're getting a little bit of a you know spicy uh, Mexican theme there. We have the Buffalo Bluebird, which is a buffalo sauce and actually uh, blue cheese on as well. I have the Rancher Bird, which is this one back here. Got uh, some delicious looking onion jam and everything on it. I'll show you that one because it just looks really, real delicious. Real delicious. And they uh, they cut the little ends off on these chicken sandwiches, so you don't get any not nice pieces while you get a delicious, crispy chicken. Um, and then they had the special, which is the Nashville Hot Chicken, which is this one right here here with the coleslaw and then um, yeah so pretty much got the whole menu in front of us looks really good I'm excited I love fried chicken sandwiches so with that like I said let's just get started and uh, let's get eating where to start and where to end I don't know but I'm gonna start with the classic probably right here so this is the traditional love bird guys we got some pickles and everything else on there so it looks really good so how about we get started here let's say the count of five Four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mm. Ooh, that's soft. Mm. That lover sauce and that pickle together. Mm. Oh man, such a good combo. Pickles on fried chicken, guys. Definitely a must. And that coleslaw. Woo! I see why that's the signature. Hey everyone, welcome to Zidu. Today we're here at Love Bird. Yes, Love Bird in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Essentially Philadelphia. Um, in a very university area, I will add. Taking on this giant fried chicken sandwich challenge. So definitely, I will say guys, I love fried chicken sandwiches. I mean, coleslaw, pickles, fried chicken. I love fried chicken in general. Like, how can you go wrong? So I was super excited to dive into this here. It was very much like a real, real, Piece of chicken as well. I really appreciate that. It's a lovely like breast filet. So as we mentioned, we had the six different chicken sandwiches and we were in the quest for the free meal. Um, we did have the variety as we showcased. That was great. We tried this Baja here with the grilled chicken on it. The only one that went with the grilled chicken. We do have the option to do grilled or fried. Oh yeah, they put this garlic miso on that, that uh, grilled chicken. Woo! Oh, great flavor. Ginger. So essentially we're lucky enough to have the whole menu in front of us, um, but I will say, so I do love a fried chicken sandwich. I love it with coleslaw, I love it with pickles, I love it usually with some delicious sauce on it, but do you like pickles and coleslaw on your fried chicken sandwich? I know a lot of people don't. So let me know down below what you like on your fried chicken sandwich. Um, but I'll be honest, I even like ketchup with my fried chicken sandwiches. Ketchup and fried chicken, guys, goes really, really, really well. I just love fried chicken in general. And this was some really nice fried chicken. 
They do have a uh, gluten-free, uh, we'll say, batter coating for their fried chicken, and it is incredibly crispy. Um, it, whatever they got going here, that certain mix, it is definitely serving the purpose right. Um, really interesting, which I've never saw before, because they do use like a you know a, a piece of chicken here. Um, they actually cut off like you'll see like a little end. So there's a little end um, that they deem maybe like a little too crispy or whatever. They'll actually kind of cut it off, which I thought was pretty interesting. So they actually make it fit pretty well to the bun. So it's pretty appropriate. Really nice flavor with that, like I said, with that grilled chicken. That ginger kind of garlic sauce to flavor is really, really nice. Mm. I dig, I dig. All right. Um, I'll this, uh, this rancher bird next. So we have like an onion jam on here, guys. Got some bacon, it's definitely a big, big chicken sandwich. This might be arguably the biggest one. Oh, wow. That is sweet. Savory. Really tangy, too. I also loved all the different pairings that were in the sandwich. So, you know, while they really did uh, have complimentary flavors, you know, like that lovebird sauce with, you know, some of that delicious lettuce, um, you know, they had a uh, blue cheese and a buffalo, um, you know, they had the Nashville with the coleslaw again, the pickles, I love pickles on fried chicken sandwiches. Um, really great flavor pairings, great combinations all around. Um, but pretty much, I mean, that's kind of the majority of the info, I think. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Like we said, we we're hoping to be able to eat these six fried chicken sandwiches. Definitely a good size. Um, I really did enjoy it. It was a great quality product. They knew how to cook their chicken right. It was like that, like kind of what they call like broasted, broiled chicken. Um, it was awesome. Like I said, super crispy, super delicious. They have a few different locations around Philadelphia, and I believe they also have one in Connecticut, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, you know, definitely a cool place to stop on by. Grab yourself some fried chicken, whether you want the uh, traditional fried chicken or fried chicken sandwich. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Big sandwiches, that is for sure. Definitely a nice bite. I like those breads as well. Here we got the the blue, the buffalo bluebird. Might as well give that a shot. With their signature buffalo sauce. And blue cheese looks really, really nice and creamy. Oh wow. Super rich. And you get that really nice, like, bitter taste of that cheese. It sound right, boy.
You know I love ketchup. So I'll try with some ketchup. Here we got the Nashville guys. This is the signature right now. They did do an oil dredge on it. Coleslaw. Apparently there is some heat to it. So we will find out. I'm busting this little, busting my water here. Woof. I do like a Nashville. Let's give this a go. Hmm. Okay. You definitely get that like hot oil, that paprika, that cayenne flavor. It's nice. I actually had quite a bit of heat too. I'm kind of surprised. Like quite a, quite a bit. Heating up a little bit. Yeah. Coming on about 10 minutes in the chicken and chill. I will say this is pretty spicy, guys. I'm actually surprised. I like spice, I like heat, but this Nashville got a bit of a kick. It sound right, boy. Last but not least, guys, we have the LBLT. So um, now on this, I did make this a spicy chicken like the National Hot. And then um, I also put on some uh, pico de gallo because I like pico. And it's kind of like such a cool item, you know, really just fresh, nice crisp to have on a sandwich. So kind of dock this up a little bit. 
but I'm super excited to try it. Again, I will say, admittingly, that Nashville Hot was a lot spicier than I anticipated, but let's give this a go. This is one nice and juicy. That is for show. Kind of rhymed. Didn't anticipate it, but it's all right. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a bite. Great flavor, guys. Try my friend Mr. Ketchup, but that sauce in there, guys, is so nice and rich. It goes really well with that spiciness, that Nashville. It sounds right, boy. I was chewing food, kids. Anyway, we are done, guys. Woo! That was definitely very, very delicious. Just shy of, I don't know, 16 minutes or so. But yeah, like the array of chicken sandwiches. I really like the different tech, uh, flavors that they offered. Having like the pickles and the coleslaw and the lovebird was absolutely fantastic. The uh, rancher bird as well with that onion jam was just absolutely great. Definitely a good size of chicken, guys. And again, they are all available in the fried or the grilled. I really like the grilled as well. Um, it was just like, a, it's, it's, it's home grown as best you can get. It's breast with that delicious, delicious, delicious kind of garlicky, gingery, miso um, kind of uh, sauce they had going on there. Um, but yeah, guys, so that was about that. Huge thanks to all the staff for them. It's super friendly. Um, so for that, uh, that's about it, you know. Um, if you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend stopping on by. A couple locations around, guys, but I really, really liked it. This area is actually full, full, full of university um, students, kind of big university areas. So, you know, if you maybe are in the area, maybe go to school here, definitely worth stopping by for a sandwich. Of course, you can just grab this to go. Um, but yeah, guys, no complaints. So that, of course, the next time, so happy with the hungry, happy eating. Um, that's about that. We're gonna be meal free, and uh, it was good. I got no complaints, guys. I think my favorite was probably the uh, probably the lover. It's just a classic, guys. It, the, the sauces are great. Like I said, the pickles and everything on there. So definitely delicious. They also have a create your own sandwich option, which you can do. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and the Nashville hot was actually pretty hot. So definitely that. But uh, that's it. So until next time, guys. Philly's been great. I'm heading out of here tomorrow. But uh, 
Till next time, I already said this, but goodbye. Have well the day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.